What's up, Sitters? This is Tyler Roth along with Joey Edge. Sitters, what's good? And Chris Martinez. What's happening, man? And we are front porch sitting. How we doing, boys? Man, we are lovely. Holy, did you get a new phone? A couple weeks ago. For the love of everything good in this world, put a case in that thing. Why? Several cases, in fact. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe eight. Why? Them. Why? Uh, I know. He's known to spike the, spike the phone like Gronk. Dude, we're doing well. Joey's got a new phone, though. Joey's got a new phone. You can tell because he's 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 already just living on that thing. Yeah, he's yeah. Living on it. He's, I was Facebook in the, the Facebooking the show out. Getting the show oh, out. Good Facebooking job. Facebooking the show out. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't get my bell notification. Yeah, maybe we were a touch late. Maybe we weren't. Maybe it was your notifications that were a touch late, That's brother. Strange. I am fairly confident that we're live. People are commenting. So yeah, we're live. Let's fire up, man. How are you boys doing, Joey? How are you doing? Real quick, two uh, <clears throat> sentences. Uh, I'm really good. I'm really good. Things are things are going great right now. Love that. Love that. How about you? Uh, I'm doing I'm doing very well as, uh, as well. Um, very well as well. Yeah. yeah. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Football's firing up. It's getting closer to happening. Like football, like college football is like really really close. The spring games will be happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High yeah. school football is about to fire up. Baseball playoffs are about to fire up. It's a good time of year. Masters. Baseball, MLB baseball. It's a great time of the year. It's a good time. I love it, especially time. this week. This is a good week. Love that. How Tyler, about you, buddy? Also, I'm happy about that. Here we go. But uh, as Clayton pointed out, we do need to have a pre-show moment of silence for Trevor Story, whose season has ended once again. Oh. All right. Moment and are it's you, over. Are you on the uh, season over or under on the socks? I, I couldn't make up my mind. I didn't do anything. I'm glad that you didn't bet it without me because we were two for two. Yeah. Past two years, allegedly. I leaned, I leaned over, but I didn't touch okay. it. Okay, gotcha. Glad I didn't touch it. Yeah. It's a good thing because Trevor Story is a big piece of that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. is. You know who's a big piece of our show? Who is? J W Weaponry. They are the premier gun store in the South. So smooth. And they are always, 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 always loaded. What did you do that for? Comment, but don't ruin the ad read because you're doing an exceptional yeah. job. And they're always, always Joey loaded. Almost, Joey, Joey. Almost did. Yeah, yo. Do you like to go shooting? I do actually. It's a good time. Chris, you like your shooting? Yeah, I, I do. I almost told a story that I probably shouldn't have told, but yes, I do. I love to shoot I feel my like gun. None of us are able to go shooting all that often, though. Like we not don't as have much. So much going on. Yeah, right not now. as much as I like. But boy, if I did, if yeah. I could, yep, I promise I'd get a J. Depp. Actually, the last two, three, last at least three times that I can remember, times I've gone shooting, started by going to J. W. Weaponry. As it should. Grabbing some As ammo, it should. grabbing some targets. As it should. I think I picked up an extra uh, mag for a couple guns. There you go. Yeah. And you called it mag, not clip. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to. You got yeah, to. You got to know what you're talking mag, about. It's a magazine. You got to know what you're talking about. People come in and say, uh, I need some clips. I'm like, hey, where are you going after this? <laughs> 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 we don't call those. We don't call them clips, sir. <laughs> but uh, but if you want to go get some extra mags and ammunition, Joey, the number, what number could you call to see that? Uh, 386-243-8587. That's the number to JW Open One more time, 386-243-8587. Chris said, where are you going after this? Where are you going after this? <laughs> I don't really want to know, but I was certainly thinking it. That was an intrusive thought. Oh, man. We do have a full show for you guys this week. We've got a little bit of football to talk about. Florida Spring Games coming up. This weekend. Yep. The yep. men's and women's uh, March Madness tournament came to a, con- came to a conclusion. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, what else we have? Let me look at the notes. Uh, Masters tournament. Masters, Masters tournament. This week. It's major. I love it. Yeah, I saw some fun stuff on Twitter. The yeah. Masters dinner. There's nothing like the traditions in the Masters. We'll get there. We'll yeah, get we'll, there. Get, we'll get to that. Stay and, for that. Yep. And uh, the last time the hip drop tackle was a subject, we were confident, you and I, that it would not get passed. Correct. Joey was not on the show. He didn't get to talk. So we're going to bring it up again this week. Yep. And cover that. So... You guys want to get started with uh, a little bit of college football? I do. Um, mm-hmm. I absolutely do. Joey, let's start. Um, our, well, you tell me, Joey, where would you like to start, Florida or Florida State? I feel like we started Florida State first last time, but I'm also okay with doing that this time if you'd like. Um, yeah, we can do Florida State first. Why not? Okay. You're going You're going over there in a couple of days. So yes, might sir. Might as well I, talk about it. Yeah, I'm fired up about that. Yeah, I'm, you should be. I'm so fired up about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna like brag a little bit on our um, on our head coach of the Columbia High School football team, as well as the head coach at Florida State football. They have a very good um, relationship, uh, very well respected. 
Coach Allen, most people know this story, but there may be some of you sitters that don't know the story. He called uh, Mike Norvell uh, kind of like in the 11th hour. Mike Norvell just got to Florida State mm -hmm. uh, about Shaheen Brown in the 11th hour like of the recruiting cycle, but also rather late in the evening. We would talk to Shaheem <laughs> and um, – and, like, I wasn't there, but they're like, man, he's not picking up the phone, dude. Don't call that guy this late. And Brian's like, yeah, I'm going to call him right now. So he calls him and is like, hey, this guy could have played – Shaheem could have played with us when I played. You know, check out his film. I, if, if you could just give him a chance to check out his film, I would appreciate it. And he left it at that. But he's like, I'll vouch for him. I'll stand on the table for him. He can freaking play. Well, Mike Norvell, they check out the film that night, offer him the next morning. Shaheem's been a two-year starter, is going to be a two-year starter, been a very productive player. Like, it worked out. Coach Allen well. put his name on somebody. Mike Norvell took him for his word. And then he produced as a player. Right. And so they have a very unique relationship. Anyways, I'm sure Coach Allen wouldn't mind me telling the story. He calls, Mike Norvell calls him, they're headed to the regional, state, uh, regional weightlifting meet. He calls him. And uh, we were already talking about coming down there. We had we'd already, we hadn't really settled a date, but we were figuring it out. And he said, hey, got a proposition for you. And, uh, and Brian, Coach Allen was like, well, what? No, okay, yeah, what, what, what you got? He said, um, I, I, on, they're honoring the 99 or 2000, one of those football teams. Um, I guess it would be the 99 team, 25 years. Right. One national championship. He, um, he said, I want you to be honorary like captain. And I want you to call five plays during the spring game. Nice. Yeah. That's amazing. Here's the bad part. Oh, no. This is, how, this is how good of a person Brian Allen is. I would have said right then, Coach, I'm there. These are my sizes. This is what I need. I can't wait. <laughs> Bring my staff. We're going to be on the sideline. It's going to be incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, what date? And it, it turns out that the spring game is the same date as our state weightlifting meet. Ah. So there's kids that are counting on him to be there. And so he's so going to go do down that. to Lakeland and be present. Um. Mm, and do and, and do the right thing. Good yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah. I say all of that. Really, really good story for both those guys. Um, we're going to uh, Friday to Tallahassee. It's not really like a coach's day, but they're making an exception and letting us all come um, and view practice openly. So I'm pretty pretty fired up about that. Um, Should be coming up. That's pretty good. That's yeah. good stuff. For sure. What are you What are you most interested to see? I want to see the linebackers, man. Yeah, I, I feel that. really good about the back end. Um, yeah. I think the back end will be fine. DBs, um, I would like to see the offensive line be able to like assert themselves a little bit. Yep. I think they're going to have to – I think Florida State's defensive front is pretty good. And so yep. I think they'll be tested uh, in, in the spring game or showcase, whatever you want to call it. I think they're calling it a showcase. Yeah. Um, but I want, I, want, I want to see the offensive linemen control the line of scrimmage a little bit more. I think yep. they're going to have to be able to run the football better this year. I think they're fra like, uh, frustrated they weren't able to do that last year. So I'm looking to see – can they run the ball, A, and then can the linebackers play the run as well as the pass? So, um, pretty uh, – I'm, I'm happy to go down there, man. We're, we're taking a couple four State guys, and it'll be it'll be fun. I like that. A couple yeah. of comments. Sherm said, <clears throat> wow, that's awesome. That's an awesome story. Big props to Coach Allen. Uh, Cam said not only a practice but a scrimmage, which doesn't happen for just anyone. Happy for you guys. Trevor Smith said he should do it over FaceTime and let Chris be the phone holder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. I, I told him I was like, "Hey, can I um, can I signal it in? Like, mm -hmm. you you tell me what you want, and I'll signal it in. Yeah, I, I might change it on the way. <laughs> like, I might not hear it correctly on one side. I'm like, come on. Um, but yeah, no, well, I'm, we're, I'm I'm super excited about that. They uh, they have a a very very good relationship with Coach Allen and Columbia High School. Yeah, um, we're fortunate, very fortunate. We also have Trey Marshall on our staff. A um, couple of Florida State legends there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well respected. Good guys do the yeah. right thing. So Mike is taking care of us. So we're, we're I'm excited. But that's as far as like the actual practice and the spring game and what I, what I want to see. I just want to see. I want to see like competition as mm -hmm. where it should be. Period. Just that really. Yeah. And, and stay healthy. Of course. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, real quick, who's got the most um, targeting calls in Florida State history? You think? Uh, I know. My defensive back coach at Columbia High School, <laughs> Trey Marshall. <laughs> he was yeah. a certified savage, man. He was. He coaches that way, too. I love it. I, oh, I, I adore it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, adore I don't have to ever turn up. I don't. I never have to turn the knob this way. Up. Yeah. And I'm not going to be the one to turn it down. Right. Yeah. Stop the only person no. That, no, you know that. Yeah. The only person that's going to turn it down is Coach Allen. And that's 
And he's not that kind of guy. But when he's had enough, <laughs> like, all right, all right, that's it. Like, you know. Good stuff. Yes, sir. Anything else at Florida State that you want to talk about spring-wise? No. Um, I don't think our boys in the chat can tell us. But I do think DJ has had a – DJ, um, you, Uyunglele, I think he's had a couple good days, stacked some good days, and is getting a little bit more settled in and a better grasp of the offense and um, expectations of what he's supposed to do. I think he's maybe grabbed a hold of – that quarterback job just a little bit tighter. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's not open. It's obviously still open. but um, Is it, though? I think in today's day you have to say that so that people right. don't I, leave. I, I understand that. I meant like – I don't know. There's there's two conflicting – Like some people are saying that no doubt about it is DJU for sure. Yeah. No competition. That's Y'all brought him in here to be a bridge guy. But then there's also people that are like very well connected and plugged in that are like, I'm not so sure that like it's a true open competition. Huh. Okay. Yeah, which I think is good for the good for the program, good for I've, the culture. I've heard the latter. Yeah. Um, You've heard the latter. Yeah, it's it's a little more open competition than maybe some would think. Her DJ hasn't hasn't um, he impresses in some aspects and not others. Yeah. Which is pretty typical of DJ. I think that's career. who he is. Honestly, yeah. I think that's yeah, who he is. That's exactly. What I think. Is. I think what they do so good, what Florida State does so good, and we'll, we'll like shortly, quickly switch gears to Florida here. Um, I think what they do so well. Mike Norvell and company is uh, find out what you do good and try to do a lot of that. Yep. But then they also are very aware of what you're not great at. And like, let's, we'll try to develop that, but let's probably stay away from that until right. it's developed. Yep. That's why I think the run game is going to be huge. I think he has a gigantic arm. Um, he throws a very, very good deep ball. I think he struggles with accuracy a little bit. Yeah. So I think the best thing to do is be able to run the football, bring safeties, the box up. And then and the ball doesn't have to be perfect. Now we, now we just take shots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now we can, yeah. Now we can just kind of let it eat freely. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna miss lunch duty for Friday? Uh, <laughs> no, sir. I'll be there if I need to be there. I put my TDE in. I asked for that, so, but probably <laughs> if I'm allowed. <laughs> he already um, knew that. He approved my time. <laughs> I, have the, I, I have the best boss. Wait a minute, Trey. Uh, Mr. Oscar, are you going to miss lunch duty Friday? Ooh. I put it anyways, I put in my time. I was allowed. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyways, I'm able to I it's a it's a coach's clinic. It's like it's awesome. We have like take care of us. Let us good stuff. Let us put time in and, and go to those type of things. Mm -hmm. Prove mm -hmm. the staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is the best part of the day. Lunch <laughs> lunch duty is the best part of the day. That's I'm not sure if that's good for your day or bad for your day, honestly. It I have no idea. At this depends point. on perspective. Yeah, exactly. Um I don't have a, I don't have a whole lot more, man. I think yeah. I think Florida State's the coaches. I, I I will have a lot more next Ooh, week. I, I might. They may not let me talk too much about it. Um, I'll have my own thoughts next week. <laughs> my own thoughts. Yeah. But I, I I think they've done a really good job of continuity and like making sure the staff is what it is, and I think they're all operating at like a, a pretty high high clip of being efficient, yeah. which is which is good for development. I re I did read Joey, and this you may not like this part, but I did read that. Maybe the talent, top end wise, I don't know that they have seven or eight guys that are going to get drafted yeah. that are going to be rising seniors. I don't know that they're going to have that like they had this year. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I know that they like as far as like top to bottom talented roster, they feel really, really good about like the overall roster, the health of the roster. Yeah, I, I mean, I would just outside looking in, I would agree with that. Yeah, I, I do too. I do too. Yeah. I think they're more athletic everywhere. I think they're. Um, I think I think they're doing all right. Like I, I feel I feel confident in in the building process. Yeah. Like I think you have to I think you have to continue to go get high end guys. I also think um, I think they're gonna still attack the portal. Like I I really do. I still think they'll do it in this this next window too. I think so too. Yeah. I absolutely do. The, the, the window after spring football I think is gonna be a busy window for a lot of people. I think it is. I think it is. Um, I think I think you'll see teams that that need to fill some needs and then kids that need to fill their own needs yep so, yeah i mean but anytime you're losing jared burst Braden fisk uh keon coleman yeah you know like i mean you're you're losing a lot of yeah, jordan, jordan travis, travis johnny i just seen our friend i just seen our friend again johnny wilson <laughs> did um, you really? a thousand percent on my life i did no i believe you but the door's open so that's great i know i'm hoping you just it's a lizard anyways. it's a lizard you'll get out <clears throat> 
Um, but yeah, they're losing like the two linebackers, uh, like the the cor- two corners. Like they're losing a lot. They are losing a lot. Renardo Green and Jerry and Jones and Akeem didn't make it drafted. That's three of the four DBs right there. Right. I think they've done a heck of a job of uh, reloading that room. Yeah. Real quick. Yep. Let's talk Jordan Travis for just a minute. We I, I really don't know if I want to do this today or if I want to wait till closer to the draft. Probably closer to the draft. Let's do it. Let's yeah. wait. Because yeah, yeah, closer. I to just draft. saw some things today and I was like, man. I'd take Jordan Travis over this guy. I'd take, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait till the closer of the draft. Um, before we go to Florida, we need to do something correct or no? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Why not? Let's what talk about our guy. Which one? Brian. Brian. Brian Dixon. Brian Dix. Sporting goods. No. Nope. Brian Sporting goods. There you go. Brian Sports. I don't know why I did that. I don't know either. <laughs> Oh boy! Save me. My mind is in a thousand places right now. The Red I know Sox you just gave up four. I, you Save just me, threw please. your phone down and banged I, and the table. Yeah, I was like, "What's happening? I'm, Everything I'm, okay?" Chris and I both did this. I'm just and then looked at each other like, "Is he okay?" I'm glad he didn't have a camera on. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Anyways, Brian Sports, man. Yes. Listen, I got to play a He'll round of golf me. with Brian Dix um, and Garrett Hill and Caleb Hill and Shane and my dad. Was it the best day ever? Dude, it was so good. That's well, awesome. I, I had so much fun. We played terrible, but we had a blast. <laughs> um, it was fun, man. I, I really did enjoy it. But, yeah, just good dude. Good dude. Brian, you know, anything he could do for the tournament, he helped with. Um, donated a couple of gift certificates, gift cards. So, you know, just just good people. Taking care, taking care of us always. He's going to do that. Um, yeah, so go see Brian at Brian Sports. Yep. That um, Mr. Cooey was in the chat earlier, and you mentioned that your your Columbia High School gear is top tier. Mm-hmm. Where do y'all get that from? Most of the stuff we get from uh, Brian Sports. Absolutely, almost everything. Absolutely, almost everything. Um, yeah, Austin was not there, but that's okay. But yeah, seven five five zero five seven zero Brian Sports. Um, yeah, man, just go see him. Good people. <laughs> Travis Brian Smith. Shout out Travis in the chat. Two weeks in a row. It's my guy from uh, Union County. Like I said, I tried to hire that guy five times. He just won't. He just won't. Move. <laughs> um, yeah, but he, he did say sometimes bad golf is not fun. I think he meant more fun. More fun. More fun than good golf. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what he meant. That's um, a fact. That is a fact. Uh, but yeah, we had we did have a great time. I'll be honest. It was it was phenomenal. Absolutely, absolutely. Sorry, I wasn't able to make that. I had a bajillion things going on Saturday. I had a funeral, a slide rental. I had so much. Shout out Benton Edge, your son. That's my that's my one shout out, real quick. All right. That kid is freaking solid as they come. He is solid as they come. He is he is pretty solid. I got to tell you. I mean, and as far like for me, he's just so extremely helpful um, with me. Yeah, just just good kid, man. A lot more solid when he throws strikes. But hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> um. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. It's true. Uh, he is he's he's got good stuff. You just gotta gotta locate the the, the pitches. Fill it up. Fill up the strike zone. Florida football. Florida football, baby. <laughs> most most did take the L to the to the FSU Hunters. Yes, that is that is true. They didn't win. Uh, the Hunters tied for first. Oh no! The team Hunter tied for first. I went to the scorecard. They ended up finishing second. Oh wow! Good people. I mean, listen, them Hunters. They're good people. They donated the money back. So did the first place team. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Donnie. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't have done it. Say, no, I wouldn't have won. <laughs> no, same thing. So Donnie Thomas, uh, Chet Carter, and Buddy Slay, they were the first place team. Again, same, they tied. They they had the exact same score. Uh, just went to the scorecard. And uh, so they donated it back. And then the Hunters donated Dude, they're just good, good people. people. Is there anything I love the Hunters, man. Than the tiebreaker rules in a golf tournament? Like a like a fundraising golf tournament? It basically it goes to like the last hole, and then you keep going back. The hardest hole. Oh, is it the hardest holes? That's yeah. how you guys do it? Yeah, I think that's how everybody does it. I've been in a tournament where they went to 18. Oh, that's and, silly. And then they went to 17. Oh, wow. And then 16. I was like, no, this it, is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. We went to, I mean, all of them that I've ever been to, they do. Go, they go back to the hardest hole. Like, the, they go to the number one handicap hole, and then that makes more sense. go from there, and then the two, and then three, and all that. That makes more sense. Yeah. All right. Speaking of... No, go ahead, Joe. <laughs> not golf. Flo- no, not golf. Florida football. football. I don't know. I we, try mind, <laughs> we try to go low. We try to go low. We don't. We don't need to score a lot of points. We go low. <laughs> oh, Tyler. I oh love boy. It. I love this time. This version of Tyler is so good. Dude, I'm just like in. Distress. You're like the, you're a cross between like Bradford and Joey right now. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> and that's welcome, never man. good, my I, friend. I, I, no, I have those guys in high regard. Oh. Anyways. 
Florida football, I've watched a couple clips, Joey, so I'm just going to, like, spout misinformation, and you correct it when it's wrong. I'm in. Go. <clears throat> DJ Lagway, uh-huh. how good is he? Um, For real, seriously. Like, I'm, I'm not being – I'm not trying to be, like, a smart butt. I've seen videos where he looks like the real deal. Yeah. Like, I don't know how he doesn't give play me, this give year. Give me a comp. Like Anthony Richardson. Ah, uh, this is tough on me because I've been a bit huge proponent of Anthony Richardson. I think he's a freak show in Go college. Um, I haven't seen no, so I'm just a, the fact I'm, that you're like I'm going to preface it with I haven't seen enough. Obviously, I've literally seen like probably thirty seconds worth of clips, but he's throwing from different arm slots. He's out of the pocket. He's accurate. Um, it's quick. It looks really, really scary. I'm saying I would probably take Lagway over Anthony Richardson when they were a true freshman, for sure. I have a take on why he won't play, but I'll let Joey talk first because he's actually not. Yeah, so like my, my question is, how has Graham Mertz looked? Uh, by all accounts that I've talked to, he, he's looked like Graham Mertz looks good. Oh. Right decisions, yeah, good, leader. Yeah. leader. Like I, I feel like Graham Mertz was pretty, pretty good last year. Honestly, I didn't. He I, was. He exceeded expectations. Yeah, I, I think so, expectations will rise. So it'll be interesting well, to see if he can yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It'll be interesting to see if he can still get there. Yeah. Um, no, I, I just, I think if if Mertz plays like he's, like he played last year, except, you know, obviously you have to advance. Anything yes. you're doing in life, you. If, you, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. So you're going to have to get better at certain things, maybe pushing the ball down the field a little bit more. Taking Mertz, a little bit, yeah. yeah, taking a little bit more risk. Because that's one thing DJ's going to do, I think. I mean, that's, the clips look like it anyways. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to make the play where you're like, ooh, that's – not many guys can make that play. Yeah. Um, but but Mertz isn't – he's not going to turn the ball over, which is, good Lord, what we need. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, that's why DJ doesn't play. Really? Okay. I have a different reason why. DJ yes, tell play. me. I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. DJ doesn't play because Mertz is going to be the starter for sure. Right? I don't think it's like a quarterback competition in Florida by any means. No, I don't. No. I don't either. So if I'm, DJ was going to get the rock, it'd be in the tail half of the season. Yep. Where he just emerges. Okay. Eh. You're not going to make him play Good against point. Georgia, Texas, LSU, Ole Miss, and then Florida State. In a row. <laughs> You're not going to make that his that kid start. That's why he's not you could start. ruin him in those games, honestly. That, and like and fan perception, which is arguably to me as important as like the actual games. It's no no offense, especially all fan base. Right. Yes, ex- that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, they're not going to do that to that kid. If they do, they're more. He's looks really really good. I will say that so far. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, and again, it's controlled not, environment. It's yeah. controlled setting. The bolts are not live. And yeah. we haven't been there we, to see it live. And we know how that goes. Yeah. So. Quarterbacks are I'm, so good in that type of setting. Yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'm still tempering the expectations. But I do like what I see. The, the release is so fast. And, and it's it, the ball comes out so good. You know another thing that I've noticed? And again, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. So, I, I think Lagway is as advertised. He's – what the number two overall quarterback in the country? Number one was yeah, he? Yeah, one slash two, depending on yeah, where you look. Yeah, like elite of the elite. Right. I, he is that, in my opinion, so far as a, as a high school senior, because he is could still be at high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know it's clips that you that Florida gets to put out. Like exactly. they get to cut it, they get to highlight what they want to highlight. Right. What I've seen from like just the limited look, they're physical it it appears to be more like physical that's the one thing like that uh, like almost across the board that i've seen and heard and read and talked to people and like especially in the secondary yeah secondary is fast and physical that's the two words that's the two words that i keep seeing fast and physical they're playing fast and physical right i agree for and for multiple years it's been the opposite of that yeah like trey dean was physical they didn't want to hit anybody Trey Dean did, but he yeah, but he always in the wrong spot. Yeah, but he was never in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. So like he would hit anything that moved. Yeah, I love that part. Problem is, is he wasn't hitting the ball carrier enough. Yeah, yeah, we want you to be <laughs> like where you're supposed to be. Right. Yeah. No, I I saw like they were striking. I was I was I was impressed with that. Like I was like, ooh, that that is not something I accounted I accounted for. Yeah. But it's like physical, and it was like a full scrimmage, and it was it wasn't just a practice where you tag off. Tempo is like a right. little bit different. It was wide open, it, but it but it looked wide open yeah. for the first time in a while. Yes, because previously I've been to those practices and it Me was too. like mm, 
Me too. Eh. I mean, last year, uh, me, but Brian was in, Brian was there with me and Shane last year when we went to a scrimmage. Um, and, and like there was just very little physical. Do you? play yes. at all bingo do you remember when i came on here after i went to that practice and i was like look i think it's there's a million coaches there's a million co it's, it's it's like crazy organized like it's i did say that i said it's extremely efficient very organized there's no detail waste oriented. of time detail oriented tons and tons and tons of reps like it's being coached it's being worked but i remember like i left there thinking like i'm not that doesn't that doesn't scare me right like it, it looks pretty. It, it's 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 moving fast. It's moving efficient. It looks. But it, it ain't mean. It looks like a bingo. It looks like a West Coast football team. Yeah, is what it looked like. Mm. Very smooth. Skill players look like they knew they weren't going to get hit. Like it was just smooth yeah. and easy and effortless. Yeah. It wasn't like like we're about <laughs> about to like like be powerful, be be violent. It didn't it didn't have that to me. Were they big? Oh, of course. Yes, you, that was the one. he spoke to him. He was like, right, "This is a gigantic offensive line, gigantic." Yeah, but like they weren't nasty. They weren't mean. Um, again, thirty seconds worth of clips. <laughs> it looked nasty. It looked mean. It, the, the, it skill, looks the skill, the skill players and meaner. How about that? Fair. I'll yeah. go there. Well, we, I'll, we'll still see. We'll, we still have some things to, to see, but um, yeah, I, I, that's the one thing that everybody keeps talking about was is that, and then um, Chapman at D line, the D line coach, like yeah. they. There have been a lot of people that have talked about how he uh, he knows when and how to to kind of jump. I've heard um, into into kids. I've heard bit. the same thing, I've, but I, I have heard that he's had to jump a lot more than you would want him to jump. Yeah, like it is. It's good to know that you have a coach that is willing to like get on somebody, like right. really, really get on someone. It's also it's, it's good to know that it can happen, but, but if it's, it's also bad. Yeah, when it's happening, why am I having to do yeah. this? And it it's could every be day. That's a problem. Motivational tool, like I'm sure some of that is that. And D yeah. line play's been also terrible. It's the been last bad, years. very, very, so, very, very, very bad. So like, like, yeah, something has to change. Yeah. And if, yeah, if that's what it is, then so be it. So, um, spring game Saturday. Yeah. What are you looking? Uh, what are you looking to take away from? Or what do you hope to see, Joey? What do you hope to see? Like, what? Um, what is one thing on each side of the ball that you're looking for? That will give you more optimism going into the season. I mean, you're already pretty freaking optimistic, I believe. I am pretty op optimistic, yeah. So, like, I think the win total is five and a half. Mm -hmm. You're well over that, I believe. Not necessarily, not yet. I think you were seven and a half. Dude, our win total episode is going to be electric. I can't wait. I Joey's going to be nine and three quarters. For Florida? <laughs> yeah. Twelve. Everything's 100%. Yes, absolutely. Of course. Of course. Um, know, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> stop. Anyways. Uh, offensively, offensive line, yeah. obviously. Uh, you know. Set. Let me get some sort of push. Let me get some sort of uh, Damian George not being on the field. Or maybe he's better at guard than tackle. I don't know. But just something different. I don't know what it is exactly. I just need I need to see the offensive line. I want to see it with my own eyes. Um, I think the skill guys are going to be fine. I think the quarterbacks are going to be fine. Not really worried about that. Boardingham at tight end. I mean, he's, he's had a he's, good spring. He's had a really good spring. Um, Livingston's had a good spring. Yep. Uh so I mean they're, they're like I'm I'm okay with everybody. Sure. I need to see the offensive line. Love it. Something. I agree. Give me that. Most important segment on the entire field. Yes. Both it offense is. and defense. It I is. do not care. Um and then in the in, on the defensive side, I mean trenches, I guess. I mean yeah. I, I want to see that too. Like I want to see the defensive line do something um just just play physical. Yeah. Just be physical. Like yeah. that's we haven't had much of that. Like, I agree. We we really haven't. Like even even the guys that were Good, um, Brenton Cox. Um, he wasn't really physical. No, uh, Princely. No, like we need a bruiser. Like none of these guys are, are are physical. They're they're athletic. Yes, but they're not physical. Agree. I, I need somebody to be mean. Give me give me just a a, a ruthless, I'll, just freaking. I don't I don't want to say dirty, but I'd rather dirty than 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 what we got right now. A little crazy. Boy, bad. Yeah, crazy. That's it. I look. Let me get a little side path in there yeah i gotta have somebody to, like put his face in the fan yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, and people they, don't understand that like no i mean like 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 like, like no like we'll like we'll do it mm -hmm. you have to be a little bit crazy to play there man yeah it doesn't make any it, football doesn't make sense if it to someone that's logical right and doesn't love football it does so you so someone that never played football doesn't love it it you mean to tell me coach you want me to run Full speed into that guy. He weighs three hundred and thirty pounds. 
and you want me to hit him on his inside shoulder to make the ball bounce so that somebody else can get the glory and make the tackle. Yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. All right, coach, I'll do it. Let's <laughs> do it. All right, cool. That makes sense to me. It's tough. Like it doesn't it doesn't doesn't always compute, man. People yeah. like doesn't always work. And Florida hasn't had that. Brent Cox did not do that. Would no. not spill. Would not squeeze. Would not do any of that. No. Um, selfless. You gotta have people that like care about the team. Team first. So, uh, but I agree. Also, Joey, and I know we've already said this all the time. You gotta stay healthy. A hundred percent. Gotta stay. You know what I mean? And healthy. Like, yeah, we want to see you. See you be physical. See you bang. Um, but. At the end of the day, you got to walk away from it without any, right. any anything significant. Right. Bump, bruise, okay, cool, but we can't have anything crazy. Can we say my guy is asking for Jared Verse? That is absolutely what I'm asking for. Yes, that's precisely it. Yeah, Very Braden good. Fisk. Braden Fisk is good too. Yeah, yeah. Speaking speaking of Braden Fisk, uh, they say the uh, Joey Slackman. Yep. They say he's looked pretty good. So I, that's another thing. Like I want to see I want to see the transfers that have come in that that people are talking about how great they are or yep. how how good they look. I want to see that come to fruition in game setting. Yeah. Um, and then just I, I want to see communication be efficient, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I've got to be careful because I don't want to. But, yes, I agree. Yeah. I need I need communication to be efficient because they, last year there was a lot of movement, a lot of late movement. They have to be better. They, and they have to be, yeah, it's just got to be better. It has to be. Like, I think, like, you know it. I think um easier way to say it is, like, the operation has to be cleaner. 100%, yeah. Like it has to be cleaner. Like it, the, the like you, you're with them too much now. You've been with them too much. Like you know they're your guys at this point. They at this point we should have a very strong grasp of what we're being asked to do. Exactly. If you're they a coordinator, run it should look coordinated. Right. There you go. And if it doesn't, then then that's on. You go to the person with the title coordinator. Right. Bingo. Agree. Brian said psycho, but no spitting. Uh, yeah, obviously no spitting, Brian. We don't, so, we don't condone that. Have I, I haven't told the story, have I? Um, whenever Mike Norvell talked about that play? You did. Did I? Yeah. After the after y'all talked to him. Yeah, did there? I talk about it on air? Okay, yeah. never mind. I won't I say it again. I think you did. Okay, I okay. think you did. Gotcha. Yeah. You, can, you can tell it again. Yeah. I'll be brief with it because there may be new listeners. Yeah, exactly. So, every podcast is somebody's first podcast. Exactly. All right, so – we're sitting in Orlando, and what we're going to – where are we going to next? So we keep here. Stay here. You're having fun. Like, Masters. we're having fun. Masters, golf, next. We'll give you some winners. I know the group chat the, will give you some winners. Um, so, Mike Norvell, we're at the Orlando Coaches Clinic. He comes over. He's talking with Coach Allen. That was actually the first time that they, like, met in person. Um, and he was – they were talking about just things that they do. Um, mm -hmm. And he was in, – in, in his presentation during the whole entire presentation, everyone was in the room. They do something in, in at Florida State where they call it like a focus focus Friday. If tell me if when if I go far enough where you haven't heard this, tell me because I, I don't I know we've heard this. Okay, so focus Friday they find like one play, two plays of like it may be an effort play. It may be where a kid like the old Miss uh, Mississippi State. Mississippi State game where the kid hiked his leg up right. and did the P celebration and cost his team essentially the game yep. on a dumb penalty. They watch one play that's like a it's, like it's called a focus Friday. It's what they do, um, and they talk about it and they're like, look, we've just so that way if that situation ever arises, like we don't respond in the same manner that the person responded in that cost his team a game, or if it's good, we do respond in like high effort play, um, mm -hmm. like the week before they played Florida. Like that, the focus. For, so I guess it was the night before. The focus Friday was of something like really, really crazy happening on the football field. Like, I don't think it was spitting, but it was something along the lines of that's too far. It was like an eye gouge or something crazy. Yeah. Like that. Ninety nine point nine percent of us are going to react to, and probably going to get an offsetting penalty or get our own fifteen yard penalty or something. Mm -hmm. Um. And so then, sure enough, the video where the guys bits in his face like and that's the most despicable disrespectful thing that you can do to someone yep. in my opinion yep and he doesn't respond he doesn't and it, he, so mike catches him afterwards after the game in the locker room he said man i'm so proud of you for not not acting that way he said coach all i thought about in that moment was the focus friday where so and so whoever it was cost his team a big play and uh it, it just it's that's good stuff. It's unbelievable. It like is. whenever, like, first of all, that's a great idea. Very good idea. And then it's even better when it translates into 
oh, not only am I are we doing something that's a good idea, but it's actually like catching and we're 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 applying it. Um, but Brian's comment made me like it just triggered that. That's unbelievable, unbelievable. It is. It is. Love, I love that. It. I love that. All right. There's a golf tournament this weekend. There is. It's a major one. Augusta National. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite places. Yeah. <coughs> you know what a, another one of my favorite places is? <coughs> Where? Josh's Barbershop. Take it away. Man, I love Josh's Barbershop. I need to go see him. It, I actually too. just looked at the schedule uh, 30, 40 minutes ago. Well, hold on, wait. About an hour ago. Um, looked at the schedule. I did not put my name on it because I'm not 100% sure about my um, job next week, so I don't know about that. But <coughs> it's about that time, Josh, so yes, sir. Uh, it's, it's, it's happening soon. Can't wait. It's literally one of my favorite hours of every every time I go, yep. every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, whatever it is that I go. But um, enjoy it thoroughly. I'm going to enjoy it next week whenever I go. So can't wait. Yeah, I mean, we say it like, I feel like a broken record, but like it's a, it's a good partnership. It is. It's something that we actually believe in, actually use. It's yeah. like, so I encourage you. Um, we're not going to go on this whole whole rant again. I encourage you to give it an opportunity. Um, again, if it's your first time, you're going to have to probably have to like plan a little bit, book out a little bit, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. Go see whoever you see, but just just one just one chance. Give an opportunity. If you hate it, we'll say we'll pay for it, right? Yep. Yep. We, we will. Um, if if it's an awful experience, we'll pay for it. Um, and if you love it, then you're welcome, and you don't have to pay us for it. You can just Pretty simple. go see him every time. Pretty simple. Um, if you want to get on the schedule, Joy, mm-hmm. who would you? Uh, what what number would you text? I would text three eight six two four seven one four three zero. That's what I would text. No doubt. <sighs> Are you excited about the Masters? Are you struggling over there with those Red Sox? I don't want to talk about it. What's the, What's their record right now? Seven and four. So they're 11 games into 162, and you're acting like they're in the World Series over there. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. They're blowing, they're blowing leads right now in his eyes. They're blowing a 5-0 lead. They're blowing a 5-0 lead to the Orioles. To one of the best teams in baseball. Yes. So it's a game that you really would like to win because you're not expected to win it. Those are the ones you have to win. You got five blowing a 5-0 lead. lead couldn't be me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and back-to-back innings. All right. The Masters. I'm going to be honest with you. There was a time in my life, and this actually is a nice segue from the baseball, where – the Masters tournament was the thing that I looked forward to watching on TV more than any other sporting event. Is it not that anymore? No. Why? Not even close. Really? Because I'm just not as tuned in with golf anymore because of the split. I'm just not as tuned in. But they're it. allowed to play. They're allowed to play it, but I haven't been watching. I haven't golf. been keeping up with it. Fair. I been. So it's just not, I'm just not as glued in. That's unfortunate. It I really hate, is. I, I hate that. Um, I'm I've, still excited to watch it, but like, it's like back in the, like I would, that was my thing. Um, I'm with you, though. I agree. I, I, I understand where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, I, mean, I, uh, I don't necessarily agree. I don't I understand. Agree, but I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Chat, if you would, pick, um, just throw your winner in there. Um, that would be great. Throw your winner in there, like, now as we're talking about it. Um, have you have you ever been to the Masters? Never. I want to. Um, have you entered the lottery? No, I haven't. I haven't actually, I haven't actually done that. <laughs> I've never been. I've never tried to go either. I've tried. I That's what Joey said. The lottery two, three times. Moving forward, moving forward, I am going to. DJ. I'm going to start entering the lottery annually. Might as well. Why not? Oh, she's done it and won the lottery. Yeah, He's I know been. people that have done it for like 20 years and have never, never been able to go. Yeah. But I'm about to find out. Why not? I would like to go. Even if you, even if you do get the lottery, even you can sell them if you can't go. Right. So, Peter just died with all my odds, my master's odds. So, well, that sucks. <laughs> you don't have a phone for that? <laughs> I do, but I didn't want to be like this on my phone. I could just have I, Dude, how I how had. How unprofessional would that be if you were just like on your phone <laughs> while during a podcast? <laughs> You're not talking about me right now. <laughs> um, I'm not on my. No, phone. but I, I tried to avoid being on my phone to have the odds pulled up and everything. You know, but I have my computer here. Charging, you know, charging my phone. So I guess I'm about to have to do that. Um, I want to go. I really want to go. Everyone tells me that I know that I've ever spoken to about how incredible it is to actually see in person. It was just hard to believe because watching it on TV is unreal. Right. So I cannot imagine in person it being so, so much better. Also, like we talked about the traditions 
uh, where the prices are, are like similar and they've stayed the yeah. same. If the, they've kept the caddy the, stuff, yeah, the caddy, yeah, everything is just so the cool. dinner, the, the the masters dinner, the masters yeah. dinner, champions dinner, yeah. So the chat has DJ Travis has DJ Brian has Scheffler, who's the odds on favorite by a lot. Um, Mr. Hosford has Rory, Chad Hunter, Minwoo Lee. I like the dark horse there. I don't hate that. Um, he also said Trey's just going to light his money on fire. I see. <laughs> I 100 percent agree with that. Trey went with his dad, and that's some favorite memories. That's for really freaking cool. It Travis, is. Travis, have you been? And if so, how many times? I believe he's been. I'm going to go with yes with the with the comments there. I'm going to go with he's been. Yeah. Just the yeah. I said TV doesn't the do greens, the greens so, justice. Yeah. Shane Pope said, "Make a uh, DraftKings lineup." Yep. It's not do, a bad idea. Do you have that queued up? I do have that queued up. My guy. <clears throat> maybe or maybe not. Only we, once. We knew we were going to be doing this. Only once for Travis. So, will you tell us when they're looking at our screen? Yep. With us. Yep. Give me just a second. Yeah. No. No. No big deal. Guys, we're about to give you the freaking million dollar winner right now on uh, DraftKings. So, yeah. Wait a minute, Travis. Your brother goes every year. Uh, text me how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's not sorry, sorry, sitters. That's not for everyone. <laughs> it probably isn't for me if Travis has only been once from that. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, I was thinking that too. Huh? Well, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I believe they can see. Can I see us? Oh, kind of. Oh, Hold whoa. Hold on. Sit. Oh God, hold, that's like hold, five sit. dimensions right now. Yeah, yeah. Are they watching that? Yeah. Oh, they're having an aneurysm right now. Yeah, they're freaking out. It'll be okay. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta make some things happen. You're watching the live production work here. He's producing know, right now, though. I don't know why things have to be difficult. But you know, here we are. How many times oh, you have it up there? Yeah, I didn't have it a bunch of times. I was just stalling until I could figure out what the actual problem was, and then I figured it out. All right, here we go. It's live. It's up. They can see that. They can see this. That seems shocking to me. How many do we have to pick? Five. Six. All right, six. so six. so they're six. only six. so they're only looking at that. Yep. This is all, this all right, cool. So how much money do we do we have um, to spend? We got fifty k. We got fifty k. Um, do we want to each pick a golfer and then we pick the last? Wait, there's three of us. Six golfers. We each get two. Um, I like that. Or can we pick one each and then deliberate on the last three? I'm in. And and maybe potentially. Like well, it. yeah. Let's deliberate on the last three. Yeah. All right, Joey. Why don't you go first? How much is okay? So Scheffler costs twelve thousand dollars. That's the hard part. He's That's literally tough. a thousand more than everybody else. So hard. Yeah. It, it, you so want me like, to go first. Yes. I'll yeah. go first. I'm going with my guy, Victor Hovland. I love that pick. It's a terrible pick. I love. I, I terrible pick, Joey. I terrible love Terrible pick. Terrible. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna take him off. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick him again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna spend a little bit of coin so many here. guys in the nine nine thousands that we could go with. And we go Victor Hovland. You get your own pick. <laughs> yeah, you Not in the nine thousands. There's only two guys that are gonna go nine thousands. Why? Because that's the way this thing works. I'll I'm take gonna, Victor Hovland off. I'm not no, no, no. the main host. No, no, no. You said no, no. Pick. We all we each get we each get one. I think this just makes it fun. This is what's going to make it make us win a I, million. I'll pick afterwards. No, no, no. Take take Victor Hovland. I like this. This is good. All right. I'm going to spend more money than Tyler. Um, yes. Do it. Make Joey pick like. Oh, I'm good. I'm ready. No, he's Mr. Right. Weir here. <laughs> no, give me give me Brooksy, man. His name is Mike. Mike we all Weir. knew he was going to take Brooksy. I love Brooks Kepka. All right, Joey. He's got his. Listen, hey, Brooks you know, Kepka. <laughs> Bruce Kepka has his kid there. Like good vibes, good energy in the air right now. Joey hates the Brooksy pick. I love it personally. I've, I've I've got my finger on who Joey's gonna say. I'm just waiting for him to say it. Do you? Yep. Who do you have? Siwoo Kim. No. <laughs> yeah. You love Siwoo. I do love Siwoo. Uh, so Heath Thigala. Ooh. What the heck is that's that a that's a value pick right there. Seventy-seven hundred. Wow. Bad, so not. we. We could have. Uh, all right, that yeah. balances out my Brooks Kepka pick. All right, so now we have to pick three people. How much money do we have left? Twenty-two grand. We're in trouble. <laughs> exactly. It, this, it's really hard. I, I made lineups earlier today, so um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a guy out there right now. Yeah, let's let's throw a name out there, Joey. Let's deliberate. All right, hear me out on this, Patrick Reed. Oh, I don't want to root for him. Nobody does, but. Uh, I really don't either, man. Okay, cool, but mm, I don't care about rooting interests. I care about money interests. 
And so he loves stealing people's wallets. So. Cool. Four of the last six years, he's been top ten at the Masters. Four of the last six. He's, Four of the last. He six. hasn't missed a cut in six straight. Um, he finished second in the Live Tour last week. How much Popeyes? Or, no, has sorry, he fifth. Eaten? Fifth on the Live Tour last week. If he eats, if he eats some Popeyes, I think I think he's a winner. Not a winner, but like a top ten finisher. Okay, so let's um, Tyler. Can you give me a no- how much does Patrick Reed cost? Seventy four. Seventy four. Tyler. Seventy six average left. All right. Can you find which that means that works? What in is there another player, Tyler, in the seventy six hundred dollar range that we can like pick against? Reed versus somebody like Fleetwood right there at seventy five. Yeah, we could do that. Corey Connors, Tyrell Hatton. Um, did you see the Ricky Fowler, Minwoo Lee at seventy three? Did you see the? the I think we should put Minwoo Hatton. in there for uh, for Chad. Honestly, uh, I'm I'm okay with Minwoo actually. Yep. Minwoo Lee, yep. yeah, put him in. Put him in at seventy nine hundred. All right, we Harman? have Harmon. We have to go Harmon. Why? Why? Blah. He's a lefty. He's the best lefty winner. All right, He's I'm a lefty. so we're we're good with Reed. No well, I, listen, I'm not. How much does Morikawa cost? A lot, um, a lot. Yeah, not that much. Eighty four hundred. So we can put Morikawa in here, but we have to. We'd have to shave, either get rid of Lee or shave off of Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed. We can get rid of Victor Hovland. Nobody wants Victor Hovland but me. No, no, no. Let's, let's get then rid of Patrick Reed. Let's get rid of Patrick Reed real quick. No, no, but you can, like Reed? I do. Can, but, stop, 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 stop. We can get rid of Hovland and add. Uh, we can add Cam Smith. We can add uh, Hideki Matsuyama. DJ. Add, <gasps> DJ. We can we add, add DJ? DJ? Yeah. Like, come on. Sorry, Victor. He's going to win it. He's going to win it. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> this, is, this is the best part. It's going to be my revenge tour. Yeah. Yeah. This is um your wait. villain character arc. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, So 9,000. So what, do we want Matsuyama, Cam Smith, or DJ? Or Justin Thomas. I like I, me personally. I'll take well, Justin's not bad. I, I, me, me personally, my vote will be DJ. What's the chat saying? They're probably killing us right now. Uh, Let me look. The chat is killing us right now. If you're not listening on the on the actual live version on YouTube, I am so sorry. This has been brutal for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Chad said my main pick is Brooks. Obvious, obvious reasons. Because he's a winner. And he's a seminal. Uh, Scheffler can't putt, not good at Augusta. Interesting take. Travis Smith says Scheffler says he will leave <laughs> if his wife goes into labor. Tough, tough to pick a guy who may leave. Whoa. Some plays have Phil even money for top senior. Make some money. I like that. Chad Hunter says Cam Young. I I like, I like Cam, Cam Young. Young. I like Cam Young. I do like Cam Young. Um, I see Cam Young here. I'm I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, I mean, so Scheffler's finished nineteenth, eighteenth, first, and tenth in his in his Masters. I don't want I don't want Scheffler. He costs too much. Cost yeah, no, much. no, no, no. I agree. And, and, and this, he, he, he costs too much, kind chalk. of, um, kind of. Chalk. But winners, winners win. Chalk. Um. <laughs> Can we go, dude? I wish we could go Zella Torres here. I like Zelly. Willie. What's the Willie, best golfer Willie, we can get right now? Willie's not playing great right now. I know. DJ. DJ is the best golfer right there that we can get right. Um, talent wise, yeah, he's the best golfer on the planet right now. But winning wise, probably not. I mean, Cam Smith, other than other than the the food poisoning that he had a couple of weeks ago with the live um thing, he, I don't, he's yes probably we he's played uh he's played really well. I'm I'm okay with Cam Smith. Um, and he does well here, so. Joey. So let's just, let's let's make Tyler pick. You're going Cam Smith. I'm going DJ. Tyler, you're the tiebreaker. Oh, no, 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 no. You literally removed no. Victor Hovland for That's why this I'm not pick. Picking. That's why I'm not picking. That's why you should. Pick. That's why you have. Myself. That's why you must pick. I sacrificed myself. Okay, okay let's say this though. I'm gonna pick Siwoo Kim if you if you let me. <sighs> um, <laughs> go do this. Go. I mean, to he's the, gonna finish top twenty, but it has to be DJ. I agree. You know what? You know what we should do? Go to the uh, flip, coin flip. Oh God! Look at they're looking at that screen. Pope says mats. We're going mats. Book it. Joey doesn't like it. Look at that face. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Look at this face. Oh, that is the face of a very <laughs> unsure man. Ornery guy, too. That guy is an ornery guy. But Pope knows that I don't like Matt's. And it's not that I don't like Matt's. I actually like Matt's a lot. Um, He's just... Anytime, anytime I ever have that guy for anything, he's not good. Trey, he Trey good? said... Go DJ. Trey says Spieth. Yeah, go DJ. Like, can we actually put some... Um, Did you say 
Go DJ. Uh, yeah, a little, a little Can we? Can we? Because that's my DJ. We, uh, um, off air, we have a discussion now. Now we have two hundred dollars left. All right, so we can improve something somewhere. I like our lineup. I, I don't honestly. know that we can improve anything. This is the winner, honestly. I like it. I'm I'm here for it. All right, so let me share my screen again. So the scissors can see. How much front porch sitting money do we have? <laughs> Enough to play. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, we spend it. We spend it on on cameras, not gambling. Typically, <laughs> allegedly. No, obviously. Look at look at how good this camera makes Chris look. I'm telling you, boy. All right, so, so Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka. I forget Thagala's last first name. Just say Thagala. Sahith. 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 Thagala is his last name. Fatic, Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed. <laughs> Patrick. That's right. I don't know who this dude is. Min Woo Lee. Lee. Very good. Good Lord. He's Colin question. Morikawa. That's your winner. Patrick Reed, man. That guy will steal your pimento cheese sandwich. He's a yeah. thief. And he will eat it in front of you and then say yeah. he didn't steal it. What's yeah. the question on Min Woo Lee? I don't know. I saw that, and I, I think it means it's questionable to <laughs> I play. I didn't know golf. got him in our lineup. I didn't know golf had that. You know what? That just means he's going to have low usage. Have you, low know who, usage you know who I really want him? He better just make the freaking cut. Um, do you know who I um I, I want instead of Minwoo Lee? I want Corey Connors. Who? Corey Connors. Oh, uh, Corey Connors. Yeah. yeah. Or Siwoo. I would. I would. I'll always take Siwoo. I, I've never seen Joey not pick Siwoo in any golf tournament. <laughs> any golf tournament we've ever picked on Front Porch Sitting, it's Siwoo. I am so fired up about the Masters, though, for real. Did your balance say seventy-five cents? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I played DraftKings. I had, to, I, had to, I had I had to put in a, a security code to get in because it's been so long since I locked in. <laughs> Woo! I got 135 crowns, though, dog. What is a crown? What does that get you? Crowns? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, don't That's incredible. Don't, I literally don't, <laughs> don't ever listen to our gambling picks ever again. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we just almost, withdrew. We just withdrew our money. You know, to be fair, I pretty much exclusively only play Major League Baseball. So just don't follow me on Major League Baseball. And that's only because I'm pretty much just a Red Sox guy. When's oh. the last time that you played? Oh, oh, oh my God. That was like three funny. or four years? Yeah, probably yeah. four years. Oh, my yeah. God. Three, three or four years. Four or five years. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, oh, any damn. any bets Woo. that you guys like? Oh, that was funny. That was funny. Uh, after, after I just got roasted, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Are you kidding me? Hovland's uh, 30 to 1. Hate it. That guy sucks. <laughs> He's terrible at golf. Oh my god! Take up knitting. <laughs> Pope, who do you like? Who do you like? The who do you like winning? Oh wire, uh, odds wise? Where's my dad? My dad's been taking golf lessons. Come on, man. Has he? Yeah, yeah. He's striping the ball actually. Heck yeah! I want to play. Uh, I wish I had time. Me too. All right. Any any Lost uh a golf sponsor? <laughs> I need to go. Hold on. Anybody you like? We could probably pick up Quill. Um. I don't know, man. I uh, I think like Morikawa with his irons is like a little bit of a long shot. I know that, but I think he can. I think he can. His putter has really failed him lately, though. Um, so I don't love that. I, I like him. I like him. He just. I don't know that he can finish with yeah. with putting the way he's been putting. You know, one name we have not mentioned is Tiger. I know. Like, does Tiger make the cut? They can see the odds now. Okay, so they're looking at this with us. What yep. what book is this? Cause look at you! Look at you! Look at that freaking bounce now, baby! Yeah, look at yeah. him! Yeah, he he ain't no damn rookie. Uh, <laughs> let me show you. That. Let me show you my other book. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Check this. Look at this one. How about that? I think I it for no reason. <laughs> oh the no! Problem, I already know. The only problem with that book is it only goes to hundred to one. So, yes. like Austin Eckrope, he he's two hundred to one on on uh. Oh God! What you call it? Um. Brooks and DJ are the best numbers. I think that's true. Um, I agree with that. <laughs> Different book. Um, DJ at forty to one is silly to me. I agree. I think there's a lot of value there. That just means don't. I, I mean, Cal, uh, just, what more? Cal plus forty five hundred. Doesn't make any sense. JT thirty five. I don't know. I I, I think Joey. I I, I say more Cal. I don't really love that. Is John Ron playing? 
Yeah. What's his uh, What's his number? Uh, Ten to one. Oh, yeah, he's up there high. He's, somehow, somehow he's behind Rory McIlroy. Yeah, I'll never understand it. If you give me a choice between Rory and John Rahm right now, Trey is on uh, Rory. Trey, I, I believe, and I think Doug Peeler is too. If, just, Rory, if Rory wasn't, Doug Peeler doesn't listen to the show, but but he, he wants used to. to. But but he wants to be on the show. He used to listen. He wants to come on the show when it gets closer to football season. No, but you don't listen. No, Who? Trey Trey's like on his back porch right now, hanging out. Hopefully there's no rain. I mean, you know on the TV. A, you know there's a fire going. Right. Probably yeah. throwing some cornhole bags. If there's no rain. He doesn't have a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I Rory, Rory to me, he just – he don't have no killer in him, man. I can't get down with that. He used to, though, I feel like. Never, he never did? He always choked. He was just good at golf? He was just really good at golf. Yeah. Now everybody, not everybody, but a lot I am of so are I'm up. I'm like really fired up about it, honestly. I really am too. I wonder if Travis texts me about the hookup. What's going I don't on know, here? guys. I really like Thigala forty yes, to one. Did. I think it's good value. Patrick Reed sixty to one. I think it's great value. Um, Corey Connors at sixty to one. Same thing. Um, yeah, I'm not getting those tickets from Travis. So <laughs> I'm not shocked. Um, those are the top twenty that I really liked. Um, it was Ekro at four four to one. I don't have any. I don't have any um any picks to to add. Patrick Reed plus one ninety to finish top twenty. I feel like that's really good value. Um, same thing with Igala. If I like him to to win, I like him to finish top twenty. Obviously, <laughs> Dustin Johnson at plus one forty to finish top twenty. Like if you're getting yeah. plus money on DJ to finish top twenty, top twenty, I 100 percent agree. I think that's where I think that's where like people should live. I think you should you sprinkle. It's a little sus. I don't care. I think you, I think you should sprinkle money on the winner, right? Like I, I well allegedly, like if you're going to wager, I, I think you should probably do. You're allowed. It's legal. If I think I, I'm okay with that, but I think we can really like what you can really capitalize, Joey, is what you were just talking about, like finishing top twenty. Yeah. Yeah, Lowry. Yeah, Lowry top twenty plus one fifty. I love that. I love that. It's one of my favorite. One of my favorite plays. Chad, that would be a losing uh, proposition, sir. What do you say? I'd pick Chris before Rory at the Masters. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that far. <laughs> yeah, me, uh, me either. <laughs> uh, me either. No. That's but hard. I mean, if both of you missed the cut, you made the same exact amount of money. So whatever. Rory's not missing the cut. I'm probably gonna definitely miss the cut. I uh, whatever. However many players are there. Uh, a lot. You're definitely missing the cut. My boy did not right, just I fixed, do that. I fixed my balance, guys. Oh, shoot. I left the developer and smash your window open. Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> Nobody. Wow, you must have just uh, hit You must hit with the Red Sox. Uh, yeah, boy. yeah. You know, my last lineup, <laughs> it did pretty well. You know, what can I say? What can I say? Man, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. That's a great hit. Oh, Five man. bands. Woo. That's a great hit. First round, first round leader, Finau. Um, Thank you for interpreting FRL. Yeah, first round leader. The non in the chat. Sorry about that. First round leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, thought that was for real, Fino. Yeah, for real. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> nah, first round leader. <laughs> well, then you were a winner, dang it. <laughs> um, <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> um, quickly, what do you think happens with Tiger? Um, does he make the cut? Isn't yes. that the question? Yes, Tiger makes the cut. No, he doesn't. Does he finish the tournament? Yes. No, he doesn't. Really? He finishes 46th. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm fired up about the uh, Masters, though. I love it. I will be watching tomorrow. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. You'll, you'll be watching tomorrow? No, I'll have my. I'll be doing my job. Yeah. Right, right, right. But, like, afterwards, I mean, afterwards, like, watching on your job. phone, like, occasionally checking, right? No, I won't be on my phone at work. I will. I'll make sure I know. Like on my on my break, my planning periods. I'll probably. I'll probably tune in then. That's obviously what I meant. Yeah, I would not watch it while I'm at work. No, of course not. That's silly talk. Nope. Um. If he can walk it, he can win it. I agree with that with Tiger. Yeah, I, me too. Can he walk it? I think he's probably in better shape now than he was the last time he played here. Didn't he, like, just withdraw from... Yeah, he did. He had bad food, right? I was just making sure. It was a few months back. Wasn't it food poisoning? Yeah. 
a few months back. Um, all right, we get on the Masters. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm an hour. Sure. I don't think we need to to beat a dead horse on this. The job tackles. I don't think Joey's going to have anything crazy to say. No, it's stupid. I can't believe they they did what they did. So here's what I will say. I don't want to. We don't need to spend any more time on it. We're about to wrap this thing up. Um, unless you have questions in the chat, we'll get to them. If you have questions in the chat, but I am pleased that college football kicked the can down the road for one year. Yeah. Um, they yeah. said they're not going to be enforcing that rule i think the in i think the nfl will also do the same thing i think they'll try to do it for one year it'll be ridiculous um i would actually like for one week give me one more week to do a little bit more research i I can't find my computer died i can't find the stat that i had yeah and it was unbelievable the low percentage of there was eight injuries by hip drop tackle, mm-hmm. like hip hip drop tackles last year, eight um, in the NFL. There's roughly like 153 plays a game in an NFL game. There's 18 weeks. You start doing the math, the percentage of actual injuries because of the tackle is like point oh, point oh, like yeah. far 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 under one percent. And we're trying to govern. Stop. Man, like yeah. it is absurd. It, <clears throat> give me one week, I'll have a much better argument. I had it, my computer died, and here we Welcome are. Welcome to the new world, What's my friend. What's unfortunate is, um, yeah, it you're right. Me, Cater to the less than one percent. It reminds me of another league that had some rule changes implemented, Major League Baseball, the last couple seasons. But the benefit of Major League Baseball is they have minor leagues. Yeah. So they're able to test these rules out In and see how fair. it plays out. I don't know why the NFL doesn't say, you know what, during preseason we're going to make hip drop tackles illegal. Yeah. Would you be okay with that? I think I would be. I think I'll be fine with them, like, checking it out. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I Is it a dangerous play? Yeah. It's a dangerous game. Is I'll, it a necessary play? I think there are times where I have to get the ball carried down, and that's the only way to do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know what, I, don't, I don't know what else to tell people. Like, I, I really don't. But what we'll do next week, I'll have – it could be my segment. I don't care. The rule and how it's how it's written by the NFL and how it is to be officiated, which is more important. Yeah, I'll have that information, and then I'll also have that that data that shows how how not frequent, infrequent. Yeah, that that actually happens. Yeah, and and we'll and we'll do it. And it's not a, and, it, and it's like a reviewable play. So. It's the dumbest thing. It's so stupid. Um, but I'm so thankful that we do not have to worry about it in college football. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I agree. Uh, for at least a year. I agree. I think the NFL will throw it out after one year. I think so, too. I don't think they will. Um, they won't call it. Then. Chad told told Trey not to listen. Trey, don't listen whenever you started talking about uh, watching the Masters. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Trey said, stop by the office. We'll have it on. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I had the best boss. Uh, games in 7770 when they enforced that rule. Yep. Uh, before you leave, quickly talk about UConn's dominance. Okay, real That's, quick. I, uh, I love that. Because the dominance was silly. They're really good. I said I, I said two weeks ago, or was it last week? Last week they were the best team since 07 Florida. I, I truly believe that. Like, they – like team wise, they're complete so complete. Team. That's the word. Yeah. Complete is the word I use. Yeah. So that like Florida had all their star- starters come back from 06 to 07. UConn had basically the same thing. I think they had three guys went to the league though. I believe they had three guys go to the uh, NBA. Yes, but the, which like, is but, nuts that they reloaded in that the, manner. Yeah, the rest of their roster stuck around, stayed around. They got a couple of transfers in, and then next thing you know, three. I, dude, Dan Hurley can coach basketball. The thing was nuts to me, Joey. And you're a basketball guy, and so is Trey. It's mind blowing. Three of the five, that's more than half of your starters, yeah. went and caught the NBA. Yeah. And so you have to replace those. like NBA level talent. Abs- absolutely. And they did that. It's un- It's really, really. It's, um, he ain't leaving Cameron. Ain't it's, leaving. it's really, really awesome, honestly. Like, it, it, they deserve, like, the program. You want to talk about culture? Like, the program is. He talked about that. Clearly working, right? I saw an interview with him recently, and they really? asked him. Uh, they asked him a lot about. Like, they asked him about a lot of things, but they asked him about like when he's recruiting, like what does he look for? And he went like hard into parents. I love this. 
He did. He mm. he was like sounds like Don Staley. Yeah, he was like I do a lot with you know our my staff. We we look at their parents a lot because like are they going to be a guy that's going to come in here and be a fan of the kid, or are they going to come in here and and still be their parent and like hold them accountable for the things they're supposed to be doing. He's like, and if we don't get that, like we don't, we're not gonna have what we need as a program to be able to be stable. I love it. Yeah, it was like it was super in depth and super deep. Like it, but it it was a hundred percent genuine. And he said he's like, not everybody's gonna be able to play for for me and my staff. Like I, I'm going to coach you hard. He's like, that's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So not everybody has the has the mindset that they can do that. And he's like, we got to find that out early. And are the parents gonna be okay with us coaching their kids that way? Because yeah. And he said, he's like, I'm an old school guy, man. Like, that's, that's, I grew up in the old school. I played the old school basketball. Like, that's what I do. Hello, does it work? You tell me. I think it's so much easier to do it with basketball because you don't need as many. Exactly. You're right. You don't need as many. Yeah. Football has, they, football has to carry 85 scholarship kids. Now, I truly believe, I truly believe, because I've heard, I actually got to hear the – transfer portal pitch straight out of a Florida State coach's mouth. I'm not going to say who, but it's the one that's important. There's a lot of important ones, but like it's not just an assistant and a grad. I heard the pitch. And it is very much so the same way. Yeah. Like, look, man, this is – like, is NIL is irrelevant. Like, or, or it is relevant. We have to talk about it. Like, this is what it is. These are the number of snaps you're going to get. And we're going to push you like you've never been pushed. And everyone says that. But we're going to, like, we're going to work you, like, work you, work you. If you're comfortable with those things, it's a great place for you. Mm-hmm. If you're not, then we're not. Period. I think Florida State does so good with the portal because I think, like, the product they sell is already selling itself. Jermaine Johnson, Jared Verse, like, you can go down the list. Right. But also, it's, a, it's an 18-hour recruitment. It's not an 18-month recruitment. Yeah. 18 months like with a high school kid is probably nauseating. I'm sure it is. But 18 hour with a, a, a grown man, basically, at this point, a young man who's like, we're here for a reason. Like, I know why I'm here. I'm not, we're not playing games. We're not doing this for likes. I'm not doing this for a photo shoot. I'm not doing this for clout. I don't have a top five. I don't have a top 10. I don't have a top three. I'm enrolling this weekend. Yeah. So much easier. Right. I agree. I agree. Does. I'm not, yeah. Sorry, no. Uh, does their coach leave for Kentucky? Supposed to get offered eleven million a year? I would hope not. I don't think so. I think they've won what six national championships and back to back now. He hasn't won six, but UConn itself UConn. has. Right. Um, I think. I don't. I, don't know. I think UConn's won four in the last twenty years, and Kentucky's won one. So. Money does talk. Money does talk, but I don't. I don't think so. Um. And then the other thing, did you watch more of the men's finals or the women's final? The women's final four, not the – Not the actual final because yeah. we were going to get a slide. Yeah. 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 That, okay. Maybe they not, they maybe didn't want to compete with WrestleMania. Is that what it was? I think so. The game was earlier. Joey and I were, like, literally picking up a slide on a Sunday – He's like, this is the second quarter or it's halftime. And I'm like, the end of the first quarter happened. Caitlin Clark had 18. And I was like, man, what the free? Like, we're, yeah. we're, we're like, this, I wanted to watch. I did too. Don, um, but to, to your point earlier you made, Don Staley said the same thing about like parents. Mm-hmm. I have to know, which I think is refreshing. Like, I have to know that I'm going to push your kid. They're going to call you and say, hey, coach was mean to me today. Mm-hmm. Basically, like, what's the response going to be? Mm-hmm. If the response is, baby, you don't have to listen to that, so-and-so, so-and-so just text us last week asking if you're interested in hitting the portal or if you would you know, engage in the, uh, leaving the school. If that's the answer, hey, man, I respect you. I understand that's what you guys want to do. I'll go that route. Yeah, see ya. South Carolina isn't for you. Right. Man, I think that's how, I, I, that's how I would be. Hurley, that's how Hurley is works for them both are champions now. you get a different you get a different type of child though you get a different type of kid when they're willing and i don't mean just like parents because I, I know kids that don't have, that, that don't have a great home life that are that are just kind of like gritty and just built different mm-hmm. and so you you know right away their support system whoever it is whoever's a shot caller whoever is the one making like we call it all the time the decision maker whoever is the one making the decision 
how do you how do you raise that young that young man or young that young woman? How do you raise him? Yeah. Find out real quick. Hurley, he's got the recipe. He's figured it out for sure. All right, sitters. Yep. That's gonna be it for tonight. This has been Tyler Ruff along with Joey Edge and Chris Martinez, and we are Front Porch City. Catch you next time, sitters. This way. Yes. It's always you that does it. You're closer than me.